The right path to follow is a narrow one, isn't it always? There may be no better time than now to just take that next step, raise your game a little. The CCNA, or the Cisco Certified Networking Associate, is the place where many people start. Rob and Jimmy Ray, what sorts of changes have there been recently to the CCNA? In summary, it's the changes we're seeing across the whole spectrum of certifications, right? Which is the notion of specialization. And so specifically, and it's now on CCNA as well, which is this notion of it's not just general route switch, although that's very important and that's foundational to everything, you've got wireless, you've got security, you've got voice. Wow. Because what's happening is, is customers are changing the way they look at what's valuable, what type of skill sets are we going to need going forward, sure. and they're saying, you know what, these have emerged as being significant differentiators that customers need to hire for. Hmm. So CCNA has been getting a lot of action, huh? Yes, no, Lately? absolutely. Well, it has, because it's, but it's not as easy as some would think. I think historically, you know, you could go take a, a week-long boot camp class and you could go in and, and expect mm -hmm. to pass it with with pretty pretty mm -hmm. flying colors, you know. Yep. Uh, but yeah. they've they've definitely, and this is over the last five years or so, I believe, yep. they've really added a lot of hands-on. You've got to know how to how to get on a router and query it and really break it down. And we're seeing the same thing in the specializations as well. Awesome, I'll let you guys take it away from here. Thank you very much. So what I'm curious about from your perspective as an engineer, I think many people would look at CCNA and go, oh, that's a wash, right? Uh, as you look, do you think, do you agree from an engineering perspective that the certifications uh, specialization path is something that should be considered by an engineer looking at this? I do, actually, I do, you know, because one of the things that we're looking at is that the, the networking is getting so much more complex, which I know is probably not bad grammar, but the yeah, it's me. Um, <laughs> sure you grammar. know, it really helps to, to, to specialize and have one area that you're really good at because, right. you know, it used to be wireless, you know, we were talking about wireless, connected PCs. Now we're talking about video, voice. We're talking about wireless as a true, honest to goodness transport that is equal uh, to Ethernet. I mean, even with a multi input, multi output on 802.11n, we're really looking at extending those boundaries, and we need more than a generalist that understands that stuff. Wireless is very darn tricky, and it really helps to specialize that. But even in every area, you know, security, everything else, you could say there's some trickiness to it that you really yeah. need to specialize to be really, really good at it. So you got to take this, so it's an associate level, and does everybody start at CCNA at the associate level in one of these? paths, because now they've actually got it pretty clear. You can go straight up with a CCNA specialization path and then go up to the professional level and then yeah. the expert level right. and stay within a with a specialization, which I mean, in a general sense, I think specialization is always good to differentiate and such right. like this. When you look at those type of things, are, are you, I think I was hearing it in your voice, are you saying wireless would be the one you would choose? Uh, if, if someone was looking and they, they didn't necessarily have a given background that already had them heading in a certain direction, would you call that as being one that you recommend an engineer look take a seriously look at? It's a good one. Um, uh, I, you know, typically, I mean, it wouldn't be one that, I, I, you know, I would pick it because I'm really interested in wireless. Um, it really does depend on your personality. That's a right. great thing about specializing is that you don't have to, uh, to learn a bunch of crap that you really don't care about. You know, right. I can I can be really interested in voice, I can be really interested in wires, I can pick something I really like. Now, to me, when I talk to resellers and stuff, really the hottest certification out there is really anything in voice. Yeah. I mean, those are the biggies right now.